Was that the first time? Sorry? First time you killed somebody. It always does something to you the first time. Then you get used to it. I don't want to talk about it, okay? That's him. Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Don't just stand there, he's gonna get away! Ah! Hey man, watch it! Ah. Hey, what's the matter with- Is Blake. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. Shit! Where'd he go? I can't see anything here. Come on. Show your ugly bastard face. Time it looks like we got our origami killer.
All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. I can't breathe with this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Sure. Please, take a seat. Didn't really expect to see her again. I wonder what she wants. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important. 
But a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lord. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction. No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. Security guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. Stupid to bring Lauren. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid envelope. What a joint! Kramer must be loaded! What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we going to be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back, okay? Okay, just let me know if you need me. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm looking for Gordy. Have you seen him? Hi, I'm 
looking for Gordy. You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his guests. Oh, really? Why bother throwing a party then? Why don't you go ask him? I'm a private detective. I'd like to speak to Gordy Kramer. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Look, you just tell him that Scott Shelby wants to speak to him. Okay? You're starting to piss me off, man. Now beat it before I get angry. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm gonna have to go about it some other way. Excuse me! I I'm looking for Gordy! Uh, I saw him going upstairs a while ago. I'd be surprised if he comes down again this evening. Upstairs, but he's got two goons blocking the way. Do you want me to handle them? <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do? Knock him out with a pair of high heels? Leave it to me! Just be ready to go as soon as they leave the stairs! Wait, Lord. Are you all right? Hey, wake up. Shit. Another one's gonna OD on the dance floor. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? 
A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can't believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me.